I'm Cody. I am a trainer at the Marks Park All Breeds Dog Training School in uh, Johannesburg, South Africa. What I am going to be doing in this video is I am going to be showing you how to crate train your dog. Now myself, my younger dogs have been crate trained basically from when I got them as puppies. However, you can do this crate training with older dogs. So if you do have an older dog that you want to crate train or you have taken on an older dog as a rescue or a rehome, it can be done. What you first start with is obviously you need to have access to a crate. Now you don't have to go off and buy one, first of all. Um, you need to see whether your dog's actually going to go in one. Strangely enough, like us, some dogs are actually claustrophobic, so you need to see whether they will go in. Um, ask a friend if they've got one, or see if your trading school has got one, or ask at a vet. I am going to be using uh, my youngest um, dog, or my youngest child, as I, I see him more than anything. Um, he is fully crate trained. He actually uses the crate more than all of my other dogs. So uh, I'm going to go through the process step by step. Please remember that even though this video is quick, this takes time, patience, and uh, perseverance. It's not going to happen overnight. Um, what you are doing is basically locking them into a small space. You need to make that as pleasant and as rewarding for the dog as possible. And you do not want to scare them. The first thing I do, obviously I've got my dog and I've got a crate. Now, um, Kai is fully crate trained, like I said, but uh, I'm going to show this right from the beginning. You get a handful of really, really nice high value treats, something with a lot of smell. Um, I have uh, ostrich dry horse here, uh, so something that they really like eating. And all you're going to do is simply throw the treats into the back of the crate. Now you don't want them to come out of the crate, obviously you want them to stay inside the crate, but you want to encourage the dog to go in. That's it. And then you close the crate and open it as soon as they come out. There we go. Don't let them ask to come out. Don't let them freak out. Just while they are distracted, you close the door, you wait until they've finished eating the treats, then you open the door. So he's eating, he's eating, he's eating, you wait until he's finished, and you open the door. And that is the first, the very, very first stage of crate training your dog. Now, if your dog was happy with that, then you know that your dog is not claustrophobic and is not uncomfortable in small spaces um, and it means that you can go off and buy your own crate. If you have a dog that refuses point blank to go into the crate um, or that is scared or freaks out when you bring anything like this near them, um, you're going to have to take it back a little bit of a step. So you feed in close proximity, you make the proximity of the crate a lot more pleasant before you even interact with the crate itself or you go inside. So you would feed them their dinner close to it, um, bringing it closer and closer and closer until you can put it just inside. And then when the dog has realized that they're not scared or this is not going to actually eat them or kill them, um, that they then you can start with the training as the previous step that I just discussed. Okay, the next part of the training is obviously after you've got your own crate. Make sure that it's sized to fit your adult dog appropriately. If you have a puppy, obviously don't get a size of crate that your puppy is now, otherwise you're gonna have to replace them and they are expensive. So you need to know how big your dog is going to be when they are an adult. So if you have a large dog, you need a large crate. When you have got your crate and you bring it home, you're then going to outfit it or decorate it as comfortably for the dog as you possibly can. Now, when I say you're going to decorate it, I'm not talking about putting silly pictures on it and that kind of thing. You are going to put your dog's most comfortable bed in there. You are going to put their toys in there and you are going to put access to water in there as well. So there is going to be a water bowl in there too. Um, obviously you have to keep an eye on the water bowl, you don't want them knocking it over and wetting everything. Um, so if you can get a non-spill bowl, that would be a good idea. But you make this as comfortable as possible. Um, the other thing as well, even if your crate is not outside, um, you are going to cover it and almost make like a fort, like a tent fort for 
your dogs because it's much more comfortable being in a intense, um, not intense, a uh, closed dark space. It just makes it feel that much safer. It makes it feel that much more like a den. Um, if you can see inside the crate, I have put his toys in there. I've got a comfortable mat and I have a shade blanket over the top. The third step to this is you are then going to take to feeding your dog inside the crate. Um, if your dog is nervous to go inside the crate and uh, you are, uh, if the dog is nervous to go inside and doesn't actually want to go right inside, then you start by feeding them closer, 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 closer with every meal until you can actually put the bowl inside the crate. This is the same thing with the water, though you don't really move the water, you don't really want it to splash, but it encourages the dog to feel safe putting themselves inside the crate. So you would feed the dog inside the crate. Now, after a while, if the dog is, is comfortable with putting their entire body in the crate and uh, they are totally ignoring what you are doing, you can then close the door. I'm gonna stand up now. Okay, the process of feeding. Obviously, you've got the dog's food bowl, you've got some of the dog's food or all of the dog's food if you wish. And what you are going to do is encourage the dog to actually go inside. Now, you have to just check your dog, make sure that they are nerv not nervous coming in towards the, the crate. If they are, you start further back. But if they're fine just to go straight in, you can do that, such as this. Okay, come, come, what's this? What's this? So you start with just the head in, and then as meals progress, you get them to go further and further inside the crate. Until they're comfortable, as soon as they have their entire body in, you can start closing the door. Wait with them, do not walk away. As soon as you walk away and the door is closed, they are going to freak out and you're going to scare them and that is your crate training done, finished. So uh, you are never going to have a crate trained dog if you scare them. So you wait until they are finished. As soon as they are finished, you let them out. Now, the other times that you can do this is when your dog has a chewy of some sort, something that's going to take a bit of time to eat. Uh, so it's not your quick treats and things like that. So a sinew of some sort, something that they're going to take more than five minutes to eat. You put it inside the crate and let them go in there. If they are happy putting their entire body in the crate, you can close the door, but you do not leave them alone. As soon as they are finished with the chewy that they are you need to open the door and let them out you are then going to work on this for longer periods of time so obviously they need to stay in there for duration so longer and longer and longer i'm not talking about how hours however i am talking about just minutes please do not leave your dog in there this is not somewhere you punish them this is not somewhere you just lock them in and go out it's not a cage it is your dog's bedroom The last step to this is obviously getting your dog to stay in there overnight. If your dog will stay in a crate overnight, it means that you have a crate trained dog. Um, what you are going to have to do is basically take the plunge. It's not an incremental thing. If, once your dog is happy to eat in there with the door closed and locked, or is happy to have a chewy in there with the door is closed and locked, and they can stay in there for a period of longer than five minutes so between five and ten minutes then you can start seeing if you can take the plunge now with your overnight in the crate it takes some preparation the first things that you've got to do is you have to make sure that you take the dog outside to do his business just before you put him in the crate you never ever ever want the dog to have to go out when they are in the crate because if you force them to uh, mess in their crate you will have traumatized them as far as the crate is concerned and that is your crate training out of the window so you are going to take them out just before you um, put them in the crate the other thing that you are going to do is you are going to take the water away because obviously you don't want the dog drinking water all night and then suddenly they need to pee and you are asleep and you cannot let them out um, the other thing is, is you need to make the crate dark. So I would cover it 
Obviously, you need to make sure that they can breathe. Please don't just cover it so that they can't actually get uh, um, any oxygen in there, but you can cover it so that they can't see out. So you're going to make a proper tent out of this. The other thing as well is you put them in just before you go to bed. Don't put them in and then start making a noise all over the house and that kind of stuff. They are going to want to go out. So you're going to put them in, they are going to sleep, you're going to close the door, cover them up and the house goes quiet and you do the entire night. The next morning, make sure you get up very early the next morning to let them out. The, you do not want them to be forced to ask you to come out because that means that they have panicked. So you need to get them when they're still kind of asleep, still happily settled in there, open the door, take them out to go and do their business. If you get through a night, it means that your dog is quite trained. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, the benefits and the different crates are discussed in a previous video. So if you have not watched that, please do. Um, if you have any uh, questions or uh, you found this video informative, please leave comments down below. Otherwise, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much.